In these official photos in Washington, it's all smiles for the Chancellor with the Governor of the Bank of England, the head of the International Monetary Fund. But back home, there's growing speculation that Downing Street wants to U-turn on more from his so-called mini-budget. So is that right? I speak to uh, Number 10, I speak to the Prime Minister all the time, uh, and we are totally focused on delivering the growth plan. I mean, what we were facing was a tax high of 70 years and no growth. And what actually IMF uh, officials, people I speak to just yesterday, uh, Kristalina Georgieva said to me that growth is a central uh, focus of the international community. So he wasn't biting on that, but earlier the head of the IMF had said maybe the government should recalibrate its plans. I do believe that um, um, it is uh, correct to be led by evidence. So if the evidence is that uh, there has to be a recalibration, uh, it is right for governments uh, to do so. But back here, as well as demands for U-turns, there are also demands for new people in charge, all the way to the top. Finding Conservative MPs around here ready to talk about the removal of Liz Truss is easy. Getting them to talk on camera is not. And for all of them, the question is, how could it happen? One said to me, we can't have another leadership contest. We'd look ridiculous. But another said, there is no single unifying figure who could come in to take over. Former Cabinet Minister Nadine Dorries, who has criticised Liz Truss recently, has clearly had enough, tweeting... MPs circulating a smorgasbord of names, Ray, who should replace Truss as PM, and not taking into account the fact that they cannot foist upon the British public another Prime Minister that the public have not voted for. A totally untenable position. Hashtag back Liz. Yesterday, the Prime Minister went for her weekly audience with the King. Listen closely, and he greets her with dear, oh dear. Majesty, lovely to see you again. Oh, it's a great pleasure. Was he sympathising with the time she's had since taking over? It has been a tough six weeks, and it's probably going to get tougher. Dear, oh dear, let's bring Andy in uh, live from Westminster. Andy, every day there seems to be uh, more pressure on Liz Truss at the moment. How is she, how is the Chancellor going to try and reverse this? Well, officially, Dan, they're sticking to their guns and saying we're going to have that statement on the 31st of October. But all the talk here today has been about corporation tax. Now, what was due to happen with corporation tax under the Boris Johnson, uh, Rishi Sunak regime was it was supposed to go up from 19 pence to 25 pence in that so-called mini budget. Uh, Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng said, no, we're not going to put it up because we think low tax on business is good for investment. But I've spoken to a couple of MPs today who say they understand that inside number 10, people are looking at whether you could put that corporation tax up after all. Certainly economically, it would help because it would look like you're raising something in the order of £17 billion, and that could go a long way to calming down the markets. Politically, though, it would be difficult because it would be another massive U-turn on an absolute central plank of the Truss Kwarteng platform. So no options in this are easy at all.